What is inversion? Inversion is a kind of time travel, but not the kind you normally see in sci-fi movies like Back to the Future, where a character gets into a machine and instantly gets zapped back to a specific time in the past. Instead, what happens is a character's entropy gets reversed, so they experience the flow of time backwards. Technically, we are always traveling through time. We constantly travel into the future, second by second and minute by minute. If our entropy was reversed, we would travel the same way through time, but into the past instead. In Tenet, the time machine used is called a turnstile. It can look like this, or this, or this, or this. Basically, it consists of two cylindrical chambers with openings that rotate towards each other until the openings meet. You go inside one chamber, it rotates, and then you go out the other chamber. When you go out the other chamber, you are inverted. What's confusing though, is that as you enter the turnstile, you can see your future self also entering the other side, but in reverse. Similarly, when you exit the turnstile inverted, you can see your past self walking out of the other side backwards. Your past self looks like they are walking backwards, but only because the whole world looks backwards to you now. The important thing to remember about time travel is that once you do it, there are now two versions of you, a past version and a future version. It's the same in Tenet, except this time, the future version is moving backwards. Also, if you watch someone go into a turnstile, you won't see them come out. You'll only see both the forward and inverted versions of them enter the turnstile at the same time. Then, after the turnstile rotates, they will be gone and both chambers will be empty. After this, the only way to find them again is to go into the turnstile and follow them into the past. Now, if you were to see an inverted person uninvert themselves by going back through the turnstile, it would look like two people coming out of both chambers at the same time, one forward and one inverted. So it would be the exact opposite of watching someone go in. Instead of two of them going into both chambers and disappearing, they both appear spontaneously inside the turnstile and exit at the same time. When you become inverted, the world around you looks like it's rewinding because for you, it is. Everything looks like it's happening backwards. People are walking and talking backwards. Smoke is going down instead of up. Explosions are happening backwards. Birds are flying backwards, etc. To you, the rest of the world is backwards. But to everyone else, the rest of the world is normal. And you are the weird backwards walking person. If you are inverted and you interact with objects, most of the time it will be in a palindromic way. Palindromic meaning it's the same whether forwards or backwards. For example, if you pick up a stone and then put it back down, that action is the same whether forwards or backwards. However, when actions are not palindromic, the physics get weird. Like if someone trips you while you're inverted, it will feel like gravity is actually pulling you up off the ground rather than you falling. Also, if you break something while inverted, like if you shoot a hole in the wall, anyone watching will see the hole first. Then it will spontaneously repair itself as the bullet jumps away from the hole and back into your gun. Likewise, if you blow up a building while inverted, normal people will find the building in ruins first. Then the pieces will spontaneously come back together. Due to the interaction between normal and inverted physics, strange new phenomena will sometimes occur as normal objects are being affected by inverted forces and vice versa. The result is that sometimes the inverted entropy rubs off on people and objects with normal entropy. For example, let's say you get shot by an inverted bullet. When the bullet flies out of the bullet hole and goes through your body backwards, the inverse radiation affects your cells, and rather than healing from the wound, they end up unhealing, making the condition worse and worse. On the flip side, 
if you are injured while inverted by a force that is not inverted, you will unheal first, experiencing the effects of the injury before the injury happens. And then when it does, the damage done to your body will disappear because the event that caused your injury is reversed. But even though inverted forces can affect normal objects and people, the forward entropy environment always wins out since that's the entropy of the entire world. Therefore, if inverted forces clash too much with normal physics, the normal physics will push back, completely reversing the effect. For example, if an inverted car is set on fire, the inverted transfer of heat will cause ice to form. But to the rest of the world, the ice was already there and the fire melted it. Finally, there's another big difference between inversion and other kinds of time travel. In most time travel movies, you can hop right back into the time machine and go back to your normal life where you left it. In Tenet, once you go through that turnstile, there's no way to go back. Sure, you can go through another turnstile and get uninverted, but you can't fast forward to where you were before. Turnstiles can't speed up time, only reverse it. So, if you are inverted for, say, five years, then when you uninvert, you will have to relive those years. And during that time, you will have to wait for your past self to disappear into the turnstile before you can pick up where you left off. But even then, you will still always be five years older than you're supposed to be. You'll be 40 even though your birthday was 35 years ago. You will be permanently dislodged from time.